Welcome to Dynamo with Python, how to create floors. The first thing I want to do here is I want to select a filled region. Um, so I will select a model element in my project using Dynamo and then I'll go ahead and send that in. The fill region will um, come with a surface and lines. So the first thing I want to do is remove the surface and keep the boundary, which are the lines that, that are here. So I will remove the first um, element in the, in the box. Go ahead and remove this text here. And I want to send in the um, floor type, the level, and a Boolean value, either if it's structural or non-structural. Using Visual Studio's 2017 community version with Python, I will generate the import CLR. I'll import the um, add reference of prototype geometry. Um, and from the CLR reference, I will grab the design script geometry and I'll go ahead and just import everything. That's what the star is. Um, and then from the um, CLR, I will add another reference here. And the reference will be my Revit API. And I'll go ahead and import the Autodesk. Um, and then from Autodesk um, Revit database, I'll go ahead and just import the whole reference. Um, and then I'll go ahead and add another reference of the Revit service, which is my application and document of um, Revit. Um, and then I'll go ahead and import the Revit service. Uh, from Revit services, I will get the persistent uh, document manager. This will allow me to do a transaction. Um, and then I'll go ahead and import um, the transaction um, and that'll be the transaction manager. From CLR I'll go ahead and add the reference of Revit node and I'll go ahead and import Revit. And then I will get the elements uh, from Revit And I will also get the geometry conversion. Uh, this is important because the Revit API uses feet and Dynamo uh, uses meters. So it's good to be able to cast in between each one of these. Um, so I'll go ahead and just grab my document uh, using the document manager, the instance and the current database of the document. And then I'll bring in the list of um, curves or lines which I've imported. I'll go ahead and get the uh, floor type which I've sent in and I'll go ahead and unwrap it. That way I can work with it in, um, in Python. I'll get the levels or level which I'm sending in and I'll go ahead and unwrap it as well. Um, and here I'll send in the structural Boolean value of either it being structural or non-structural, depending on if I'm working on structure or in architecture. Um, and then I'll go ahead and send it to the um, curve array, which will hold uh, an array of elements from Revit. Um, and then for every array curves, um, which were sent in from Dynamo, I will um, iterate over it with AC um, and then I will send them to my array curve uh, and I'll go ahead and append it and cast it to a Revit type adding it to my string or my list. Um, here I'll start with, start with my transaction which is my um, handshake with Revit uh, letting it know that I'm going to do something um, and I will create a new floor and the new floor needs the uh, profile, which will be my curves, uh, the floor type, the level, and if it has structural 
uh, to it. So I'll go ahead and send in all the values which I've generated. Um, and then I want to send it out to my user. So I'll go ahead and send it out. Um, and then I'll, I'll finish the transaction telling Revit that um, I'm done doing um, my, my, my new floor and I'll send my out uh, to the user that way they can do or manipulate it um, doing something else. So I'll go ahead and send it uh, and then we just hit the run here and we generated our floor uh, using our filled region, um, which can be anything. It can be a room or whatever has a boundary. Here I'm going to generate multiple levels and um, multiple floors on them. Um, so I'll go ahead and grab two uh, filled regions to generate two boundaries. Um, so here I'll select them. I've got two elements. I'll go ahead and then send, send them to the element geometry. It'll give me the surface again, which I have to remove. Um, this time I'm going to iterate over this list and use the longest in order to iterate through the, both the list to remove the um, to remove the surface. Uh, this time I'll get the category of levels, which will be all my levels in my project. I'll send in my list. Um, and this is the great part about this, is I don't have to remove too much of my code because I've already grabbed all my references. Um, I'm sending in all my values. This time is lists. So this time I'm going to be working with a couple of lists. So I want to create a curve list and an out list to send them my my um, levels. Um, the building in parameter is a set of um, parameters that are built into Revit and this is well documented and you can find them through the um, Revit API documentation um, and they're all labeled a bit funny but this one the floor height above level param is the level um, that, that is the offset. So first I'm going to iterate over my list of um, lines and then I'm going to send them to the curve array building two lists of the curve arrays. Uh, once I'm in the list I want to iterate over the lines so I will send each one of the lines and append it to a Revit type um, to my curve array and then that'll create my boundary uh, sending it back to the list here so I will have two boundaries sent from this curve array um, so once I have the two lists I want to iterate over my levels so that the two boundary boundaries will be built on each one of the levels. So here I will iterate over the levels. Um, so once I go over the levels for every level in L or for each level in L, I will go around the uh, boundary which will be the curve list. Um, and then once I have the curve list which is my C, um, I'm going to start a transaction here and it'll build each floor here. So in the document which I'm working in, I want to create the new floor which will be the um, curve or line, the floor type, the level, and either if I want to send it to structure or not. Um, the last thing I want to do is get the built-in parameter of the offset and I want to make sure that it's set to zero so that I'm on the level that I'm building it on. That way there's no offset. Um, if you don't build it like this, it'll, it'll give it an offset. And the last thing I want to do is to set the uh, dynamo, uh, a dynamo script type to false. Um, that way there's no conversion or I'm sending something out uh, as, a, as a type. Uh, I'll finish my transaction here by using the uh, transaction manager instance. Um, and then the transaction test done. And then I'll go ahead and send this out. Um, and then we'll just copy it 
from Visual Studios. And I'll put it right into the uh, Dino, uh, Python script. I'll run it and generate all my floors um, uh, to each one of my levels. Thank you for watching, and for more Revit API videos, please subscribe.